Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over reading and writing from and to CSVs using Playwright and the Fast CSV node package. A few months ago, I actually created a video uh, from a request for the same thing in Cypress. So we used the Fast CSV package and uh, we implemented it in Cypress. And I thought, oh, this would be a good video to show how we can do it in Playwright as well. Because this is a little bit different because of the way Cypress is set up. In Playwright, we can do it directly inside the test, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Before we do anything, you need to install Fast CSV, which I've already done here. You can see it's npm install fast hyphen CSV. The setup I have is I have a CSV file where I have uh, headers of channel and sub, and I just have commit quality, yes, the sub, and the channel name of random channel and sub to know. Before we jump into anything as well, I just want to show you the documentation is really well. Uh, so it shows you kind of getting started, shows you how you can install, gives you quick examples. You can kind of dig through different things you want to do so you can see how you can pass. I'll show how we're going to use the format one to write to a new CSV file as well. Um, it's really useful, really easy and simple to understand, but this is why I'm making a video to show you how you can do it inside your Playwright test. I've got my test and inside the body, let's just say, let's create a variable and say let um, my object, which is essentially going to be my new kind of object I'm going to read from for my CSV. I'm going to set it to an any type. And what we want to do is just do work inside this promise because essentially this is going to end up returning a, um, a, a JSON array because that's what we're going to transform this CSV into. So in here, we're going to say parameter can be resolved because we want to say when it's resolved, do something missing a the bracket there we are create a callback as we always would and inside here is what we're going to do our work and we want to end it off there inside this promise now we want to set up a new array so let's just say let uh, data array and that's going to be of type json array and we'll set it to an empty array of course json needs to be all capitals so there we are now is where we start using uh the fast csv parsing part of the uh, node module we installed so i'm going to import it i'm going to say import all and i'm going to name it as csv from i believe it'll be act fast csv and if you're wondering how i know this is because i've gone through the documentation so you could do the same we could uh go here and you can see right here the first thing on getting started is what you need to import so i could have just copied that if I looked, so inside here is where we want to kind of transform the data and everything. So I'm going to say CSV class file. We're going to pass through the file we want to pass. So in our case, it's at the top level and it's called my CSV. So I'll say dot slash my CSV dot CSV. And we can also pass through these here option properties as well. So we can say if the CSV file has headers or not, and depending on if they do have headers, it'll transform the object, and I'll show you the difference between them both now. So in our case, because we do have headers, we'll set it to true, first of all. Okay, cool. So we've got the header set. Now what we want to do is create our listener to say, uh, do something with the data. So I'm going to say on, and it'd be data. Yeah, data can be our parameter here. And inside here, we just want to push the data into this data array. So I'm going to say data array dot push data which is our parameter fantastic and then we also want to add another listener to say when the promise ends do something which is essentially going to spit out our data array for us so i'll say on again and we will say in this time end uh, no parameters needed for this let's create a call back there and all i'm going to say is resolve which is the parameter we created up here and it's going to pass back out data array Fantastic. That's awesome. So that's everything we've got. Now we should be able to output it. So let me just say um let output equals await my object. Not the best names, but don't worry about that. Um and now we can just do a console.log and I can say output. Not one on key up. I don't know why that did. Output. There we are. Let's let's run that first. Say npx playwright test. And we can see our object, our array with two objects have been created. If I if I wanted to grab one of them, I could do console.log output. Say I want to grab the first, I'll say index of zero. That'll output just channel commit quality and subdiv yet. So as you can see in this second output here, it's only gave us that. And I can even dig down so I can use dot notation. I can say channel. And that should output only the value of commit quality. There we are. 
And of course, you can use square brackets as well. So if it had spaces in it, uh, you could do that. And that will output the exact same thing of commit quality. Of course, the same would happen with sub. Now, the reason that this array contains two objects is because we set headers to true. So when we say head is true, it means every row is an object. So take the first row and that's your headers and then everything else is an object which gets set to them. If I set headers to false, that assumes these are not headers. So we will have an array of three elements and they're all just stored as data. So let me get rid of this console.log, hit run now, and you'll see the difference happen here. Now you've just got arrays of channel sub is acting as a row of data commit quality yes no so if you don't have headers you can change like that but remember it doesn't get set as an object perfect and that's the basics of reading and parsing a csv file now what i want to go over is writing to a new csv file hey with everything cleared down let's just add a comment here to say write in to show where the writing is going to happen and right into a new CSV is really easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new array based off uh, the CSV file. I'm going to add a new column header to it, and I'm going to add some more data to it just to show you how you can add to them as well. So uh, let's set this back to true because we want headers to be a part of it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new array, and we'll give it an any type. Uh, and we'll say array dot from. And this is going to come from output, which is the array we created in this last one. I then want to add new headers into the top. So uh, with an array, I'm just going to use the unshift, which will add a new row at the top for us. So unshift. And the object we have is channel, which we'll just say is of type channel. We'll say sub. And We'll add a new column and I'll just call it new call. New call. Perfect. So that's just going to push to the top of the array, which will act as the headers for us, basically. You don't need to do this. I'm just showing a quick example of how you can. I now want to add something. If I want to add a new object row for us to display, you know, this new data. So I'll say await. Um, Array.push and inside here is where we can have the new data. So tell you all we can just copy this for a moment and I'll rename them to some different values. So I'll say channel, new channel, sub value will now be yes, will be kind if you haven't already hit the subscribe button for me. And new column will say please subscribe. So I save that now. What we should see is when I use the write method in our fast CSV, it'll create a new CSV here for us. And it's really easy to do. What you have to do is say write path. And we can see that's coming from CSV. What you'll see if I scroll up, it will have imported this for us as well. So you need that. If you do have any issues, make sure you have the import statement added. And with write to path now, then I can specify where I want to write to and what rows of data we should be passing through. So in this case, I'm going to say uh, top level, same as where our my CSV lives, and we'll just name it temp.csv because it's going to be overwritten all the time. If I now say ah, what will happen is this will create a new CSV at the top level here called temporary temp CSV, and it'll have the data that this array has for us. And because I've um, added this new object to the top, this is going to act as our headers for us because I changed headers back to true. So let's run this. And what I'm expecting to see is three rows of data now pass through. You can ignore the console.log that was from the reading of the CSV. You can see temporary.csv has been added. You've got channel, sub, and new column acting as our headers. We've got committed quality and yes, and random channel of no, which is exactly the same as what we had from this CSV. But now we have a new row of data called new channel, yes to subscribe, and we've entered data for this new header, which we've just entered in, please subscribe. And that's how easy it is to read and write from CSVs in Playwright using fast CSV parser. Now this can be extended to any other kind of test automation framework, you can use it whatever you want. It's really good, really easy, and like I said, documentation is fantastic.
If you do have any questions, please drop a comment below. As always, a like and subscribe is appreciated. Thanks for watching.